What is going on guys? It's the Manga Sloth here and yes, it's that time of month where it's the best time of month. It is after Thanksgiving and it is now time for a manga haul. We all love manga hauls. And before we get into that, I just wanted to say some of you may not know, I do have a Right Stuff affiliate link and I do use that 100% for you guys. Nothing else. If I make one penny or a hundred thousand pennies, it all goes to giveaways and for buying manga for all of you. None of it goes to me. And sometimes we are able to get coupons and gift codes and stuff like that. So right now, Right Stuff is having their holiday sale. So check out down below for my affiliate link, buy some sweet holiday manga, and we can get more giveaways and gift cards and manga out to all of you. Let's get into the haul and I'll bring you in close and then I'll show you a shot of the haul all together at the end. Let's go. All right guys, welcome to the close-up here. Let me know in the comments if you would like me to do close-ups like this or close-ups on the bookshelf or if you want me to sit in front of the camera and show you mangas right to your face. I don't know if anybody has a preference but uh, this is the way I've been doing it so just let me know. I will gladly change if anybody wants me to. We're gonna start off here with Flying Witch number one. This was a random pickup that I did for my wife. I was in Barnes and Noble and I was just browsing around and I decided to pick this up for her because I thought it looked cute. It has pretty good artwork and has a good story from what she said and it's just really slice of life feeling, down to earth, very calm and very very cute so light read she did enjoy it and uh definitely cute let's see we got 90 plus things to go through so you might not be able to see them all in my reach like i said i'll show you the pan shot at the end of all the manga i got all right i picked this up used gundam wing mobile suit gundam wing number one as you can see it is mint condition with the pull out pages like every good manga has they might not even be in order anymore this was free this uh, i ordered some used manga off someone and they just threw this in because they knew i liked gundam so i will take it free is free but uh boy this is this is some grade a stuff right here that is that is beat all right and if you know me and you've seen my previous video I got Girl From The Other Side number 9. The series is super duper underrated and super duper awesome. Check out my review on the series on the first volume and how I think of the series so far. Check that out. It's super awesome. Alright, next up we have Reborn number 2, number 3. Three, number four, number five, number six, and seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Got fifteen of these. I love Hitman Reborn. It is a great series. I'm definitely hoping it finishes in English and maybe it gets a dub or something in the anime love that series hope we get more of it two random volumes here that I picked up are Blade of Heaven number six and Blade of Heaven number ten I have not read these series these were just uh, random throw-ins and some used manga that I bought next up we have Chainsaw Man number two Obviously, this series is getting very popular and people are hyped about it and for good reason. It was good and I definitely enjoyed volume number two. It is very funny. All right, we got Jujutsu Kaisen number seven here. Man, look at that cover. That cover is sick looking. I think it looks freaking sweet. This series is hyped it is good and for good reason it is going strong right now and it is amazing with the fight scenes and the story and we're only scratching the surface on the main character so far super pumped about this and where it's going i think it's going to be 
very very huge if it is not already okay next up we got demon slayer 17 demon slayer 18 and demon slayer 19 and i have read all three of these uh, i'm pretty excited that these come monthly uh, because the series is finished so they get printed quicker it would be sweet if more manga were printed that quick but but i understand why they're not enjoying this series a crud ton uh very excited to see where it goes and how the ending is i think and i could be wrong i think there's only two or three volumes left maybe three i think it might stop on 22 i, I could be wrong but uh we're, we're nearing the end here and i'm not sure how the ending's gonna go and how it's gonna play out but hopefully it's good and it doesn't feel too rushed okay moving along we have black torch number two number three number four and number five and that completes the series uh, i do have number one it was shown in a earlier manga haul and then i decided to just pick up the rest since it ends at five nice and clean series complete i definitely like the colors there's a lot of spines out there a lot of spines that are black you got to kind of filter through them if you have a ton of them on your shelves but this kind of breaks it up with the colors i like that a lot all right we have one punch man next the continuation of the adventures of the bald cape this series is great if you have not heard of it that is surprising to me but definitely go check it out the story is great and the artist of this is super awesome obviously the story right now is following flashy flash i think in this one and it mostly about him it was neat seeing him fight and uh, his story a little bit but uh, i think we're all getting pretty excited for where this arc is going it's going to be insane i believe all right next we have a classic here d gray man that is correct i do not own any d gray man until now i picked up a the first pile i got one two three four five six man some of these covers are sweet Seven is not here, nor is eight. I do have them on the way, I believe. This was purchased in a big used bundle, so this was one of the things I wanted out of it. Uh, I have watched D. Gray Man, and I enjoyed a lot, and I want to read the manga because I believe, and I could be wrong, that it is different. That's why I don't have uh, every single one in order there. Okay, we got uh, Full Metal Alchemist number 11. Man, these are so awesome. These hardcover Full Metal editions are so cool. It might be hard to see on the screen, but they have alchemist symbols and stuff like that in the backgrounds of these. And the first few pages are we get this like see-through one with the symbols which is awesome the character that was on the front and then you get a couple uh colored pages and then the pages of these they're they are just glossy amazing if you're gonna collect full metal alchemist and you have the ability to definitely get these if you watched one of my previous videos that i had a little while ago called upgrading your manga this is one of the series i was talking about and for me if i had the original ones and i loved full metal alchemist enough i would definitely upgrade to these they're amazing shiny they look great on the shelves you get extras and you don't have to buy as many because i believe they're like 1.3 volumes each 1.5 something like that one and a half they're just super awesome and definitely worth every penny all right we have something i have never seen before and i've never heard before so if anyone has any information on it let me know down in the comments and that's how much i know i'm actually holding it upside down there we go number one of go west i have no clue what this is about i did not purchase this on purpose it was also a part of the giant lot of used manga that I purchased. It definitely looks strange and 
I know nothing about it, so I don't know if it's good, or it could just be another one of those manga that are just meh. So, if you know anything, let me know. I am, I, I just don't know. Speaking of another thing I don't know is this Kuro Zakuro. What the heck is this? <laughs> what? I mean, seriously, look at this. Look at this. Look at this artwork. What is going on here? Number one of this. It's uh, manga starts on Sunday, show in Sunday. I've never seen that before. Uh, Viz Media, so I mean, <laughs> what is this? Does anybody know what this is? I have never seen this in my life, and no, I didn't look it up. The cover looks, it looks bad. To me, it, look, <laughs> it looks bad. But uh, the art looks, you know, middle of the road, not the worst I've ever seen. What is this? Does anybody know what this is? It's a mystery. It's a mystery. <laughs> Let me know. Alright, we have My Love Story number one. This is probably the most surprising thing in my manga haul this month. I just read this, and so did my wife. And we were so surprised at how good this was. I was not expecting it to be that good. The way it looks and the way it sounds, I thought it might be funny, and yes, it was extremely funny, but it was so cute, so funny, and so good, I, I was definitely kind of blown away. This has been sitting in my read stack for months now, and I still didn't read it. My wife decided to read it, and after she was done and giggling and laughing through the whole thing, she said, hey, put this on a priority list and read this. It is great. So I did, and... She was not lying. It was so good. I went out and during the Right Stuff Holiday Sale, my affiliate link is down below. I got the rest of them. I ordered, uh, I think it was 12 more immediately. And they're on the way. And that'll complete the series. I think it ends at 13. And some of you may know this. I did post, post this up on my Instagram. So yes, it, it is super duper good. Okay, we got Black Clover number 23. Continuing this series. This shonen is... Man, it is good. It is... It is non-stop action. Just boom, 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 boom. Fights, 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 fights. Awesome, awesome. It just never stops. Almost like Dragon Ball Z. There's like small breaks in the middle of things that don't feel like much. And, and then those are already starting the next arcs and battles and small fights and, and just everything. Character progression is awesome in this. And you grow attached to the whole crew of the Black Bulls and... If you want something super cool, really awesome fights, funny, just just an all-around great shonen, uh, definitely, definitely pick this guy up. It is great. Okay, next up, Ancient Magus Bride number 13. This series has been slowing down recently. Well written. Very good series. My wife enjoys this a lot and she definitely, when she gets it, she reads it immediately. It's top of the list reading. Very awesome. We have Al Haru Ride. This is the final one in this series. So if you're looking to pick up a shoujo series that is great and has a great story that you will love, definitely pick this up. It won't break the bank like some others that go well past 13. It's only 13 volumes and the series is complete. It is very enjoyable, very cute, and the characters are excellent. Pick this sucker up. All right, a continuation of used Gun Gundam manga. I enjoy Gundam, so I decided to pick these up. We got Gundam Seed, as seen on TV, in case anybody was wondering, number one, and Gundam The Last Outpost, number two. Uh, I have not read these, and I do not think I will. At least until I have more of them. I don't know if they're hard to find. The rest of them are not. But uh, I decided to pick these up because they were cheap and I enjoy Gundam. Here's one I want a little more info about. Any Gundam or Mecha fans out there, do you know anything about E. Cole D. Seal? Seal? Boy, I'm butchering that. Yes, this is in English. That is just a weird title. This is a Gundam manga that I'm interested in, and it looks like they're still printing this. It must be uh, very slow printing or something. But I seen this, and I was trying to get earlier volumes, and you can almost not find them anywhere. So, 
I found this one used in pretty good condition for a couple bucks, so I decided to pick it up. Uh, I'm interested in reading the series, so if anybody has any info on this one either, let me know please. Manga Sloth needs your help. We got daytime shooting star number nine in the building. Series is still going on, and it is still good. This is one that my wife reads, and she loves. It, uh, it looks very cute, very nice, and apparently this is very popular shoujo-wise, so if you think Manga Sloth should read this, definitely tell me, because I don't know too much about it. And here we go, Jujutsu Kaisen number 6, coming in out of order. It fell off the stack, so I just showed you seven, so obviously I have six. Another great looking cover, look at that. These covers have been impressing me. I already spoke about this. This number six was super awesome. A lot of sweet battles going on in here and fights. Holy cow. I already said, but I love this series so far. All right, we got Dr. Stone number 14. Read this already. I enjoy these covers also. I like how they're like see-through and you can see the continuation of the front on the sides. It makes them look really nice when they're all stacked on the shelf. I know there's tons of mixed feelings out there about this manga. There's loves, there's hates, there's problems, uh, but uh, the manga sloth enjoys it. Uh, is it top 10? No. Top 20? No. Uh, top 50 no, but it is definitely <laughs> It is definitely good enough For me to continue and I enjoyed enough and it keeps me entertained and like I've said uh, a couple times now it, You're definitely not uh, sad about the art. Uh, the art is botchy. So his artwork is top top dog his artwork is great okay yona of the dawn number 26 this series is getting out there uh it's definitely not stopping anytime soon it is popular it is making money it has a great manga a great anime that hopefully they continue great characters you got your shoujo aspects it is a shoujo beat we got fights battles in there so it's an enjoyable series for anybody. I think everybody can enjoy this series. It is wonderful and hopefully it goes strong. I see this possibly going well past 40s uh, in, in terms of volumes if they wanted to. There's definitely a lot of story to be told and it's not being rushed right now. So definitely get this and enjoy it while we got it. Well, here we go, messing up again. We got Yona the Dawn number 27. That also goes with the 26 there. Same thing said, look at that sweet little squirrel. That's Ow, she is a cutie. Uh, great series, check it out. Next up we have Dragon Quest Monsters number one and number two. This is actually my first time seeing these. Uh, they were picked up also in the used manga haul that I got. They look interesting enough. Uh, the artwork looks good. I do know about Dragon Quest, so it's going to be interesting to read these because I'm interested in seeing what they're about. All right, we got Love Me, Love Me Not number five. As you know, my wife loves shoujos, and this is no exception. This is another great shoujo that she reads. I know it's very popular. And while we're on that, she's got Snow White with red hair number 10. I have been told that the anime for this is great and it is beautiful and the soundtrack is awesome. I did hear that from somebody. I apologize. Uh, that I don't remember who that was from. That makes me excited and uh, I may watch this series with my wife because I think she'd be interested in watching the anime of this also because she definitely loves this series. Okay, we got Kingdom 3 through 10. Do not ask me which numbers are which because I do not know. I'll show you the covers of these. They look pretty sweet. We got 2 through 10. I don't know which one's which. That owl costume looks pretty cool. Look at that. Yeah, the covers on these look, look pretty great. And uh, definitely hoping that Kingdom gets printed in English. Boy, oh boy, would I love to spend money on some Kingdom volumes. 
I don't know what they're waiting for. If they're waiting for a publisher or the company or the person that makes these does just is having a hard time selling the rights or getting them published in America for some other reason. Or what I think is more likely is uh, that there's 50 some out now, 60, and it's not completed. I think they're waiting for it to be completed and maybe print them in two-in-ones or something. I, I'm not sure. Just, uh, I'm sure me and plenty other people want these suckers in English printed so we can get our hands on them and read them. Okay, we got So I'm a Spider So What number eight. This is the current one that's out right now in this RPG style manga about a spider. Look at that. It's even got a wanted poster like in One Piece. 10 million spider loons. It's got great art. The story is awesome and is so cool to watch this spider level up and kick butt. Definitely check this out. It is way different but super duper cool. Something else everyone should be checking out is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Yes, I'm a JoJo fanboy like the majority of people. It is so good. So good. And these volumes need to come out so much quicker. I am so sick and tired of waiting three months per volume. It is exhausting because once you read these, you blaze through them. Not because they're not filled with great artwork and content because they are. Look at that. The guy writes an amazing story and his art, though different, he draws everything and it is amazing. Look at that. Look what that guy can do with the color orange. Come on, people. It's great. We love it. All right, another oldie here that I got. So flashback time, uh, one of the first animes I ever purchased on DVD and didn't know anything about was Buso Renkin back in the day, only knowing it was made by the guy who made Roni Kenshin. So I decided to pick up the whole series of Buso Renkin for cheap and used, of course. Do not want to buy this new. So I found this used and decided to pick it up because I wouldn't mind it in my collection since it is a old manga that I enjoyed and a anime that I enjoyed back in the day and uh, I don't think I'm going to be rereading this. It just seems way too far down my list that I will never get to it. But it was cheap enough used and decided to pick it up so I could have it on my shelf. It's more of a collector buy than a reading buy. But all these volumes are in relatively good shape. A little bit of yellowing, but not too much. No dings, dents, or scratches. Not sad to add this to my collection, but not a high priority. Another set of manga I picked up was Mob Psycho 100. I have the anime, I just have not read it. So I decided to pick up one through four because I was hearing little whispers through the grapevine of it not getting printed a ton or it finally going out of print eventually here. And whether that's true or not, uh, doesn't really matter. I did want to pick this up, but as we know, those two words right there mean it definitely has the highest possibility of going out of print and making us sad that we don't have it. Yes, Dark Horse, I'm talking to you. Thank you for publishing such cool stuff, but crying out loud, some of your print runs seem like bullcrap. Okay, we got a word book here. Wah, wah, wah. Not manga. It has a couple pictures in it, so if you can't survive, we got Bleach number one. Can't fear your own world. My wife read this. She wanted to read this. So this was not for me. Though I may read it eventually. I don't know too much about it. I just know where it leaves off in the Bleach story. Fills in some gaps. And definitely gives you uh, another story and another perspective on this guy right here. Another guy that looks like Ichigo. But with a little different hair and some face markings. I think I got the second one on the way. I don't know how many there are, but sorry, that's not manga. Okay, I picked up another stack of used manga here. This is probably the most used manga I've bought in a long time. Uh, I picked this manga up from another YouTuber called Manga Unboxed. He found some manga, and I seen this in it, and I never heard of Beauty Pop ever before in my life. And uh, 
I seen that he had one through ten, which was the complete series here that I'll show you. And I decided that my wife might like that. So contacted him and said, yo, dude, let me buy Beauty Pop off you. And uh, he sold it to me cheap and shipped it. And uh, it's all in pretty close to mint condition. Uh, definitely a condition that looks good enough to be on a shelf in a store. She read it all. She binged it and uh, she ended up loving it. A plus for manga husbands out there. Woot woot. Okay, we got three more things here. We got Avatar The Last Airbender, Korra and the Pirates Silver, number one, I'm assuming. Nope, this is a single story. All right, I'm wrong. Uh, me and my wife love Avatar The Last Airbender. One of the best, if not the best, Western anime. Definitely check it out. And Korra. And we own all of the Avatar and Korra comics. They are excellent. The art is excellent. And the continuation of the story and the amazing characters in that series continues on perfectly through these comics and also the two Kyoshi uh, books those are great we have those also definitely give these a chance if you know of or you like Avatar Last Airbender these comics are great you will not be sad all right we have Komi can't communicate number nine that's right people it's been nine volumes so far she can't communicate at all what the heck is she doing in this manga and yes I'm joking she does communicate just not that often I, I just don't have anything else to say. It's just a, a good series and I hope it continues and goes strong because it's written and looks excellent. And it is a good story and like I said, it is very funny. And last up here we have Heroic Legend of Arslan number 13. That's right, this one took forever to come out. I'm not even sure how long it was. 8 months, 10 months, was it a year? I can't remember. Artwork by the creator of Full Metal Alchemist, Hiromu Arkarwa, if I'm not butchering that. The story's by a different person here, that is him. This story is great. She does great artwork and she does great characters, facial expressions, and in this series, more than more even than Full Metal Alchemist, I believe, she is doing more battle scenes, fights, and we got, you know, we got more blood and that kind of stuff that she didn't get to show too much in Full Metal. Definitely check this one out. I do believe they were having sales bundles of these on Right Stuff Anime. Check them out. As always, my affiliate is in the description. Shill, shill, shill. Sloths love manga. All right, now I'm going to set these up for a shot so everyone can see everything that I purchased for the month of November. And thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys again next time.